Okay, so today I aim to answer the age-old question that I hear all the time. Which bow is the quietest? Now unfortunately, I hear this question all the time, and it's often answered incorrectly. Some people believe that this question is an opinion-based question, but last I checked, volume is a measurable statistic and you don't really get an opinion on facts. It's not really how they work. But anyway, what kind of concerns me is some of the answers that are coming from people that shouldn't be giving the wrong answers. For example, in Who Cares' last video, he was asked which bow beginners should buy, and he recommended the Parker Python because it's the quietest. Now that's concerning to me because the Parker Python is in fact the loudest of the compound bows. Now, upon hearing me say that, you may disagree immediately. But what you're going to see in this video, if you choose to disagree with, by all means. But once again, you can't disagree with facts, so I don't really understand why you would want to do that. But anyway, that's that. I'm going to prove my point. Because I don't like people misinforming other people about the things in this game. It's one of my pet peeves. And it drives me insane. Okay, so here comes our first test subject. I made sure that it was a buck because sometimes white-tailed does and cow elk and certain species are actually so tolerant to spooking that the test doesn't really work. So to answer the question, which bow in the Hunter Classic is the quietest? My first answer would be this bow here. The snake bite. Now, he's kind of sniffing the air a little bit, but as you can see, he goes right back to walking around and cares absolutely none. We're going to call him back right under the stand so that it's same distance just to, just to keep this experiment somewhat controlled. Now another bow that I would recommend to answer that question with would be the heavy recurve. Also silent. That arrow literally just about touched his toe. Now if you consider this one also a bow, this one's also silent. Let's see. Pretty well tapped him in the toe. He literally doesn't care. Now, this bow here, no disrespect to who, but um, I'm gonna have to disagree with his answer. Which would be this bow here, the Parker Python. We're just gonna get him nice and close again, so like I said, keep the experiment controlled. Get him back right under us. Now this is the bow that Who Cares believes to be the quietest. And like I said, I really don't agree. And this is why. There he goes. He didn't like that one. He didn't seem to care about the other ones, but... The quietest bow seemed to have ticked him off a little bit. Now, I'm not saying the Parker Python is a bad bow, although I do believe it is, but well, that's that's a video for another time. The question the question is not which bow in the Hunter Classic is the best, because that question, of course, is subjective. You can have your own opinion on that. The volume of a bow isn't something you can have an opinion on. Now, I believe. I miss the the big the big root of this this question and the incorrect answers is the information provided on both the store page and the wiki. So basically, what happened? I believe it was about two years ago that the snake bite was actually I suppose you could call the volume was nerfed, although technically it wasn't nerfed because it was made better. You, you get what I'm saying. Anyway. They altered the volume of the snake bite to make that bow the quietest bow. The problem is they never updated the store page or the wiki. So now both the Pulsar and I believe the Parker also says very quiet on the store page, while the snake bite only says quiet. And that obviously implies that it's louder than the other two, which it is not. Now, as you can kind of hear, the snake bite audibly is louder than the other two. It's definitely one of the loudest audibly. Statistically, it's as quiet as 
the heavy recurve, or the crossbow pistol, or any of the other silent bows. So the other answer that I get for this question all the time is this bow here, the pulser. Now unfortunately, that answer is also wrong. And as you can see, not silent. And I could, I could go on and shoot at the feet of every deer that walked in here with a different bow, show you the trad bows, the crossbows, but I'd just be doing it to let you guys watch them all run away. And I'm sure you don't need to see that. So I'm just going to tell you that every other bow that I can think of right now will have that result. The animal will run away when you shoot at it, regardless of whether you hit it or not, because they're not silent. There's, in my head, there's only three right answers to that question. The rest are all wrong. Okay? Glad we could agree. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, no disrespect to who cares. I just felt that this was a very important clarification to make because it's it's all too often answered incorrectly, and it, it bothers me a lot. The Parker Python is not the quietest bow. But anyway, hopefully you learned something from this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.